mind, that's for your non-believers. I'm the truth, only time a teacher. And fuck the haters, probably never love their mamas neither. You still a nail biter? Uh, I have a little bit, not, not a late. We've had everybody else biting their nails. The answer to the question everybody wants to know. LeBron, what's your decision? Um, in this fall, man, it's, it's, it's very tough. Um, in this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. We hate you, LeBron. This is terrible. This is the worst thing that could ever happen in Cleveland. For him to go on there and drag us through the mud for seven years and stab us in the heart, he deserves everything he gets. Champions don't do that. I love, I love the news writers and the headlines. Yeah. LeBron Lagan, the most hated athlete. You're a grown man. I mean, who was wrong with you? I hope he never wins anything in my life. Sometimes you can feel it. Traders don't leave legacies. When things get difficult, you fly. You know, the hatred of, of my departure. It's nine years in this league, and this kid has not won a championship. People going to hate on you until you win the championship. The Dallas Fabrics are NBA champions. A stunning ending to one of the more compelling seasons in NBA history. Does it bother you that so many people are happy to see you fail? We have never, ever seen a player this gifted who flames out and fails so consistently. He's the most scrutinized athlete probably in the history of the world. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron. 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 Going through my first seven years in the NBA, I was always the, you know, the liked one and to be in, on the other side. I mean, angry. You created this monster that was called the Miami Heat. Now you gotta finish it up. I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't shake it. I couldn't shake it. And I started to buy into it. You know, now you have to be the villain. And that's not the way I played the game of basketball. Because I sat in my room for two weeks, did absolutely nothing, talked to absolutely nobody. How different do you want it to be this season? Oh, it's totally different. I think he quit listening and reading and watching. Everybody was saying it's over. This is the perfect stage for LeBron James. James drives, James finishes. I feel very confident and comfortable in my game right now. finally started to say, let me just be myself. The only way that this, this is really fun at this level is to win. If I don't win this year, I'm going to get buried under every cemetery that they got. For me, I can't worry about what everybody say about me. I'm LeBron James from the inner city. I'm not even supposed to be here. I'm blessed. So what everybody say about me off the court don't matter. I ain't got no worries. So basically, what's up, guys? Yeah, it's truth, man. And yeah, I know it looks crazy, but I'm in NBK. I made my final decision. I really appreciate the five factions that offered me a spot. Um, um, I, I, my thing is, I kind of have to be in the top three faction, um, especially if I'm going to be on a comeback season shit. And... Um, You know, it was hard to make the decision, but ultimately, uh, everybody thinks that I left AOW just because they were falling apart and struggling, which is not true, but um, it was something personal between Petra and I, um, and everybody who knows, who's important enough to know, knows, so there's no reason to put it all on blast, but basically, it hurt. And I made an impulsive decision to leave to MBK Ward with them. I was happy. I saw that there's a little tweaks that need to be made. But um, Alex and not the mom are, are my two favorite players outside of um, um, basically, uh, you know, if if I can't play with them, then, you know, I can't feel like I don't feel like I can enjoy the game as much so I'm left and um but 
the bottom line is it wasn't about the 14 out of 30 being left in AOW. It, you know, it was really a combination of things. And I chose to, my whole plan was to originally go hard in, go hard in, um, the cross region war and outscore everybody and I was able to do that in all three regions I scored 533k um, which was good, good for top score um, and out of all the regions um, I was even able to outscore Chris in our region who's NBA right now but he is at the top scorer in our region um, And I was able to do that, um, but it took a tremendous amount of uh, work and time and free time. And I just don't have that type of free time to, to be able to play all day nonstop anymore. So, um, as you can see, uh, I usually with these solo survival road tournaments in previous videos, I would be always in the top 10, um, or if I'm not in the top 10, I'm, I'm flirting with the top 10, uh, as you can see now, I'm barely did anything, so, um, and, you know, I usually have, you know, a thousand shirts and gloves, and, and I'm only at, you know, 200, so, coins, look at the coins, man, a hundred coins, don't even have my monthly pass, um, so as you can see, um, I was I'm just getting over taking a break. Uh, so that was the initial plan was to score more than anybody in, in cross region wars, and then take a break, and then when I came back, I would be able to stay where I wanted to stay, or um, you know there would be no issue. I could choose where I wanted to go. Um, however, uh, instead of I outscored everybody then I instead of taking a break I kind of lingered around and um, was active and, and inactive and then active a little bit but not talking to anybody so uh, that put a bad taste in in some people's mouth and uh, as a co-leader I just spoke up uh, so that's kind of basically what happened but um, ultimately um I did choose to go to MBK um, out of all the factions. Now, um, is it a permanent move? Yes, it's a permanent move. Um, and uh, the main thing that I wanted to address here was uh, the second Cross Regions War. Um, uh, there were a, a, a good half dozen people who said that there was no way I could score that many points in such few matches with my offense. So, the offense I shared. So, this is the offense that they're talking about. Um, and it, it's, it's kind of like a safe play, safe offense. So, we have uh, Carl with huge AP stun. Zeke has the, the best uh, crit special you can get on his special. Sadiq is there for his command with an impaired shotgun. Stun calls, huge AP here. On, uh, and it, she's maxed out everywhere. And she's got a perfect um, stun gun. Um, but with this team, yeah, maybe not so. But the team that I use, I can't really show because he's out on a mission, but... Um, this was the team I was using in, in the second cross region war and was able to kill and I know um, BA is watching this or Chris is going to get to this video somebody so uh, yeah um, when Chris was in AOW he was scoring so much and I, I tried racing him with my different three different offenses didn't work um, I asked him about how he did it showed me one of his teams then he explained it one time on, on another occasion I basically got the gist of it even though he didn't say it that much uh, and then when six stars came out I just I remember thinking I'm gonna use that same concept once I get a set defense I'm gonna create that offense so 
I did that in my own way, and um, it's worked like a charm. Um, I'm glad that, that Tyrese is actually on a 60k mission because I don't want my attack order known. Uh, but one thing that basically the the mirror bell um, does have the stun gun, and then Abe and Sadiq both have impair. And then what I did was I went ahead and made a second uh, double attack weapon just like this uh, this one. I never thought double attack would be that effective, but it is. Um, but I've seen a three Tyrese team um, as well. And my boy Alex um, actually reminded me. I forgot all about um, tune-wise about the Dwight, um, the, blue, the blue Dwight that's ascendable. Here he is here. He's on the mission. Um, I'm going to end up taking Abe out and putting this guy in. And 50% uh, attack buff for three turns. That's crazy. Nice agile skill. Just got to make make him a light weapon. Um, and he's got a really nice AR. So off the charts uh, attack. So um, this team will be even stronger for what it does. Um by the time um, I can actually go ahead and get that that uh, get the uh, Dwight ascended uh, I got him right away I just had forgotten all about him so there was no cheating or funny business going on um, it was just um, I was using a different attack team than the one I shared in the uh, VIP. That's pretty much all that that it was. Um, beyond that, um, I will be getting back into a into the VIP room. Um, I will get back into VIP more. Um, I'll also um, I'll be opening up the um, the second VIP room. Um, I open that back up for um, and once I do that. Um, then uh, really be buying um, quite a bit of coins again but no matter what I'm going to get my coin count back up uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and buy the coin offer that's up there right now um, buy that coin offer um, I believe it's $100 get you 90 or 10k coins or something like that so I'll probably just end up doing that and um, And then my coin count will be right, and then all I have to do is get my cans back up and, uh, you know, try to keep up with the farming and, and whatnot. But I, as you can see, I'm on the tail end of a break, but I'm back, and um, it was an honor to be in AOW. You know, it really truly was an honor to, to be in AOW and be... Um, Basically, just to be, you know, the the best, um, in the best faction at that time, and, and, you know, for, for a while there, I was, I was, um, I was, so for a while there, I was the top player in that faction, scoring-wise, or I was right there with Osmic, um, doing Edge Reign, um, and then I kind of just settled it, you know, to, to not going crazy and, you know, top four or five, top three, in that area. So, so, you know, I just appreciate what everybody in AOW is giving me a chance and uh, always um, continuing to fight, um, fight for me. Um, I really do uh, appreciate that and... Um, I just think ultimately, uh, 
I gotta be myself and I gotta do what's best. Uh, not only for me first, but I think it's just best. I think it's best for all factions and parties and peoples involved. Um, because the game is supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be drama and it's just too much of it. Um, drama. Um, when, when there's uh, problems like that, uh, internal faction problems. So, this is definitely uh, going to be a permanent move, and anybody who knows the situation. Pay close attention to if you didn't watch the intro and the outro. Rewatch the intro. Think about it. I would apply to my situation and then watch the outro. Think about that. That's everything I have to say on the situation and on the move. And it's comeback season, man. Rampage T is going to be back. We're seeing the LeBron that is 31. He's no longer Superman. Those days are over. He's a human being. Well, I'm just so disappointed, man. I'm just so disappointed in the effort. No matter what opponent we're losing, haunts me. The Memphis Grizzlies come in here, and a loss and will uh, sit with the Cavs for a while. There's a lot of room for improvement. But we got a long way to go. The Cleveland Cavaliers got their heart snatched right out of their chest tonight. Steph Curry is having the greatest season any player has ever had. Stephen Curry becomes the league's first unanimous winner of the MVP award. The Cavaliers' inconsistencies have been highlighted in several losses. Their spirit is being taken from them right now. LeBron James, you have been dethroned. The Warriors stand alone with the best record in NBA history, a record for the ages. The Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals, and now they're up for that epic rematch against the Cleveland Cavaliers. This is the matchup everyone's been waiting for. I don't know if Cleveland can win a game. Their chances of winning this series is zero. I gotta give, give it to, to uh, Golden State. The Warriors, they're expected to cap off the greatest season in NBA history by winning four games of the next seven. Maybe Golden State is so talented that Cleveland has no answer. Everything you could possibly do wrong, they did. They clearly could not stop the Golden State Warriors. When I'm watching that finals last night, LeBron is not as impactful as he used to be. Are the Cavs done? Yes, they are. I don't even know why that's a question. It's over. LeBron told me he can't remember being that upset on an NBA court. People have feelings, and I guess his feelings just got hurt. This is a tough situation for our team. You know, it's tough. I got to continue to be aggressive, but uh, we got to get one. This might be the most important legacy game for LeBron James. Momentum is a dangerous thing. I don't think they fear the Warriors anymore. Two most important 